Hi, it's already been a minute and a half and I've said nothing to do with this video. Didn't know that's what his girlfriend looked like. Anyway, you can tell it's been a while for a recording because I just start word vomiting when I don't need to. Oh my god, will you stop driving by blasting that song? For God's sake. This is the second time that this person has drove by blasting that TikTok song that's like Savage Love. Did somebody, did somebody break your heart? And I'm done with his shenanigans. Hey guys, Don't At Your Hands here. Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. Um, creativity has not been flowing during the coronavirus, hence why there has been like one video, I think. Um, yeah, I've just not been feeling very creative, so that's why there's been a lack, severe lack of videos. But then this bad boy got announced and released, so yeah, this is what we will be doing today. So of course I am talking about the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collaboration. They made an eyeshadow palette baby and oh my god she is stunning. I have already, obviously as you've seen, opened it and things. I wanted to check that all the pans were intact because I have this thing about eyeshadow palettes. You can guarantee that one day it will happen where your eyeshadow breaks in the post so I was fingers crossed that was not going to happen to me and it didn't but it came look how stunning this box is like i don't need an empty box but i don't know there's just something to this box that draws me and i want to keep it forever and i know i shouldn't but obviously this is the like box that it comes in it was really well packaged actually to the point where i was like it, this definitely was not going to break but um it also came with this little card which was like a little thank you from nikki and i think this is really adorable and in some ways it is kind of a waste of paper card whatever this material is but i thought it was quite cute how she had like all the shade names um like what the shade is so um like redemption is a marigold orange matte and then she's put little things to say okay this is best used with a brush this is like your finger or a brush you know she's like put what they apply best with which i thought that was a really cute idea and of course we had the palette in the box and oh my god she is a beaut like the design on this palette is just amazing i want just a palette covered with just this side because honestly this side i am living for and with the first wave i guess you could call it i don't know how many like restocks they're going to do because it is supposed to be a limited edition palette um i know they are definitely going to be restocking it this is part of the first initial launch which actually side note um i'm actually kind of lucky to have because originally on the day of release i think i was laying in bed and it was like half 11 at night and i was just debating i was like shall i get it i don't really want to get it right now like i'd rather wait a little bit and then you know see because i hadn't watched any videos on it i'd just seen nikki's initial like reveal of what the colors were going to be and stuff so I hadn't seen any videos on it and I was like, I'll just wait. And then I eventually decided to get it. And literally like 10 minutes later, it was sold out. So very lucky to have this. Very glad that I did end up buying it. But enough rambling, let's open it up. My plan for today's video is to just look, maybe do a little review do a little look with this get back into the swing of things have a little chat have a little chill you know grab your cup of tea your margarita whatever drink takes your fancy sit chill and let's have a look and play with some new makeup so as you've all seen the palette looks like this we have the more like darker side on this side and then the lighter pinky side on this side so if we open up the pink side you can see we have more like pink shades and we have a regular mirror over here 
and then if we open up the darker side you can see we have more like dark colors and there's also i didn't realize that this mirror was a magnetized mirror so there you go you can see yourself a little bit closer up in that one now this palette ooh, i just oh, i just put my finger in a shade but oh my god i ended up like putting my finger in pride and look at that that is beautiful i love it already i just i want to rub it everywhere okay bit of tmi but oh my god i love it already that was so smooth as well this palette retails for 25 pounds on the beauty bay website uh i think it's about 30 dollars maybe i don't know the conversions but if you go on Beauty Bay, you'll find it, and I think there's a little sign up to wait for it. But it's £25, which I think is very reasonable for an eyeshadow palette, especially like a collaboration palette. I feel like when a lot of brands do a collaboration with like beauty influencers, with celebrities and all that, they like bump up the price to account for that celebrity, whoever they're collaborating with. They like push it up to be like, oh, well, you're paying for their name as well. But yeah i thought 25 pound was very good and considering you get 20 eyeshadows in here i think that's very good so enough jabbering let's dive in and put some of these shadows on my face i keep like wafting it because i'm just like i just want you guys to look at the beautifulness and i'm not sorry for that at all what I'm going to do is, obviously we have, I'm going to hold it up this way so I don't confuse myself, is we obviously have the brighter side of the palette and we also have the darker side of the palette. Sun, please don't disappear, I need you for my lighting. Anyway, so the lighter side I'm going to do on this eye and maybe like a more darker smoky look on this eye. So I think we'll dive in and we'll start with the lighter side. Because I can imagine that this is going to cause more of a problem for me because I'm not really a bright eyeshadow person, I think. So I've kind of just like sectioned off the palette like this. So I'm going to try and stick to like this range. Obviously I will probably dip into this side. But there's something about this blue that is calling to me. So I'm probably going to do this and this blue down here. Uh, so plot twist and mama tutorials yeah. on obviously I've done pretty much my whole face apart from around like my eyes so first off I'm going to take my NYX Pro Fit eyeshadow primer this is just the colourless one yeah this is just the colourless one I find that although they say it's colourless there is a slight hint of it's just like a peachy kind of colour I find there's like nothing really in it that is gonna you know it looks like this I'm just gonna show you that's how it comes out on the eye basically so I'm just gonna start with this eye put the primer on and then we'll get slapping some eyeshadow on I guess nice I just got that all in my eyelashes I'm gonna move my hair back so I can see what I'm doing. So while I give that a minute to sink in, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a basic truth. Basic truth. I don't know how Dutch, but I remember seeing somewhere that it stands for basic bitch. So we're gonna take oh god i nearly just stabbed oh no i did stab a shade i stabbed the basic truth um i'm gonna take that and put it all over the lid and then just in the crease i think i'm going to take zuma i hope you guys can see that this palette is so big that i'm like can you see me behind it and then i'm going to take the shade zuma after that in my crease So that is basic true on my eye, it is basically just like a skin colour just to kind of add a base down and as I said I'm going to go in with Zuma 
and kind of just do my crease. Ooh, that is a very pretty colour. It's almost like a pinky colour. How does Nikki describe it? It is a peach pink matte. Yeah, that is a very pretty colour. And then I'm just going to take a different brush. This one is not clean, but there's nothing's coming out of the brush. So we're going to go with it. And I'm just going to use that to like smooth up this edge up here. So far, the shades are like very, like they're just very creamy and nice. I did just dip in then to a bit of basic droot to put it up just to help blend that um, the shade zoomer out and blend that. I'm literally like, you can't see because of my fringe, but I'm like blending it up towards my brow bone. Next, I'm gonna take a slightly denser brush and I really hope, fingers crossed, pray for me, eyeshadow gods, bless me, that this is gonna work. I am going to take the shade Plot Twist, which is this lovely, like a baby blue. And I'm gonna put that on the outer corner here. But yeah, with um, lockdown and things, ooh, come on, Plot Twist. I've just not been feeling very creative at all with anything. Um, I don't know, it's just, I don't know whether it's just been because I've been working, because with lockdown I've not been able to like go anywhere and do a lot, I've just not been feeling very inspired to make any videos at all, but hopefully slowly, I've got some plan, well I have a plan for Halloween, which hopefully will come to fruition, um, I need to film that before Halloween because I'm working, so yay me. But hopefully, you know, I'll be back. So this shade is definitely, it's not doing what I want it to do, but whether because like over here, there's not really much um, like eyeshadow primer for it to stick to. So I'm just like slowly trying to pack it on and see. Because this one is just not doing what I want it to do or looking how I want it to. Like don't get me wrong, it's very pretty, it's just not what I was hoping it was gonna be. Um, I'm going to dive over to the other side and take Amsterdam, which is a much deeper royal blue. And I'm basically gonna put that where this shade is. Oh yes, now that is what I was hoping for. I was hoping for a bit more of this. Ooh, wow, that blue though. Try not to bring this too far across my eye because I do want to do a shimmer shade over there. Not loving it so far, not hating it. The eyeshadows, I am loving. The look so far, not so much, but you know. It's a process, it's a journey, you've gotta hate it before you love it. Okay, next I am going to put a bit of concealer where there is no like eyeshadow, or where there's eyeshadow but there's not. And then I'm going to take that shade Mama Tutorials on my finger. That's that one I've just hidden down there. Um, that is the like baby blue shimmer. And I'm gonna take my finger with that and smush it in and smush that on my eye. Moy oi man. <laughs> what the hell was that face? And I came around, that was very like it uh, creepy face, which I cannot do. And I'm very sad about it because that would be a cool little party trick. But did you know, Bill um, Skarsgård, uh, the like freaky eye thing that Pennywise does, not only, well, not only can he do like, obviously the Pennywise smile in real life. <gasps> Am I on that concealer? No. 
Um, yeah, not only can he do the freaky, like, Pennywise smile in real life, he can do the freaky eye thing in real life, where he can make, like, one eye point off in one direction, which is kind of weird, but kind of hot at the same time, not gonna lie. But on Skarsgård, hit me up anytime, bruh. So, <laughs> back to makeup, just taking my Revolution concealer and plopping that on my eye. See, this is why my channel is just the bot because you come here to learn about makeup from someone who is learning about makeup and then you get a story about Bill Skarsgård what more could you want apart from maybe actual makeup tips that might help done the thing I didn't want it to do but that's my fault and I know how to fix it so, it's so I'm gonna take my clean finger go into Zuma oh, not a zoomer mama tutorials that felt so nice and i'm just gonna smush that on here oh wow can you guys see that look how pretty that is that is just gorgeous do you see what i mean by these shimmer shades guys they're just so dang beautiful I'm just taking a bit more of Amsterdam on just a different brush and I'm just kind of blending these two together okay so that shade oh I was really out of shot then that shade plot twist I'm going to take on a flatter brush technical terms over here and I'm just gonna run that underneath the eye on like my lower lash line almost and I'm going to take a bit of Amsterdam just to go in this kind of corner here yeah you definitely need some kind of like sticky base for these to stick to because Plot Twist is not liking my bare skin at all. But not too bad, I'm pretty impressed with the one eye. Let me just like mascara it and eyeliner it and then we'll move on to the next eye. So here is the first eye done. I'm quite pleased with how it turned out. Is my eyelash not sticking? Probably not. These eyelashes are like old man. <laughs> I probably need to replace them. These are the Revolution Wispy Lashes um, from their like lash line. I don't know what you'd call it. So these were like when Revolution first launched their like lashes sets. So these probably might need to go. But that is one eye done. So let's move on to the next because I feel like I've rambled so much in this video and talked about absolute nonsense. So up next we have the dark side, which I am very excited for. I am mainly very excited for this colour up here. So as I did with this eye, I'm going to take my NYX um, eyeshadow primer, I could not think of what it was called then, and I'm going to put that all over the eye. Does anybody else remember, I think it was fairly recently when Nikki did like an ABC kind of thing, it was like a um, using only, it was to do with using only companies that had like the first letter of your first name so as i was saying before i was so rudely cut off by my camera cutting out um yeah so obviously nikki's name is nikki so it begins with n and like i said i swear she put this eyeshadow primer all over her face as a primer and i swear i remember her being like properly shook by how amazing it was just like I am with the quality of these eyeshadows because whew, they are so good. I've never actually tried um, one of Beauty Bay's own palettes. I do want to get and try their like colour, is it their colour theory one? 
that's like the massive 24 pans and they have like one, two, three, four, five all across the top and then they have like base, lid, crease, whatever, whatever. I really want to try one of those at some point because they just look so good. And I want to see if that like eyeshadow by number thing really works. Maybe I could use it. So, I have an idea. Again, like this side, it's probably gonna turn out atrocious, but we're gonna try it. Uh, first off, I'm going to take the shade Mila and just shove that everywhere as I normally do. I don't know why, I always like to get good, it's probably a good eyeshadow practice, um, but I like to just get a colour that's kind of neutral, kind of in like if I want like something warm to go with a warm toned colour or to go with like a cool toned colour for a cool toned look. I just like plopping one on to give something, you know, just something there. I don't know why and hope and pray that while I plop that one down it's normally please inspiration arrive. So we're gonna plop her on. Oh wow, that really did plop on. I like it. This brush was the wrong kind of brush, but I'm here now. And I will say, just before I move any further than this, blues I find there's normally a lot of fallout with. Uh, there's like, there's like a little bit of fallout in the pans, but they're that soft and creamy that you can see they haven't been pressed like dramatically hard so there is a little bit of fallout with them but as for on my face so far there's just none which um we're here for i don't mind if there's a bit of fallout in the pan to be fair i don't mind if there's a bit of fallout on my face uh it's just when it's really annoying and i'm stupid and forget and i'm like ugh, and then end up with like a bright red streak or something across my face um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do something kind of crazy. Uh, I'm gonna take Slasher, as I said, and I'm going to pray to Mama Tutorials that this idea is going to execute how I want it to. I'm gonna take this and I'm going to do it in my crease slash, this is completely the wrong brush that I want for this. I know, please don't yell at me for that. Um, I'm gonna take it in my crease and my kind of like brow bone area and maybe a little bit out here. And I'm gonna blend, and we're gonna hope and pray, like I said, pray with me to Mama tutorials, this is gonna work. Pray with me guys, please. I need your help. Because I have an idea, and I want it to work, but I don't know if it is gonna work. So please. <laughs> Now I'm going to try and smudge a tiny bit of slasher under the eye um, with a bit of 5am and then I'm going to think about my next step because I'm kind of getting like a Scooby Doo Daffy Velma vibes but anyway. Trust the process guys. Trust it. I'm saying this more to myself than to you guys now but still. Trust the process. Don't worry. I don't normally do lower lash line until I've completed my look, but Lukey is starting to freak out and wonder what the hell I'm doing. Oh yeah, so I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm gonna put it all over my lid this time. And I'm going to take the shimmer shade Mr. Tutorials down in the bottom here. And camera focus back, hi, welcome back. And I'm going to put that on my eye as well and pray, as I said.
lashes from I don't know when probably shouldn't be sticking it to my eyeballs but there you go so this is kind of my finished look with the Nikki tutorials and Beauty Bay palette I actually to begin with not gonna lie hated both of these looks but actually kind of living for them um what I might do at some point on TikTok, Instagram, somewhere. I might try and recreate the looks that Nikki did for the shoot with the palette and try and put that on my face, which um, that's gonna be interesting. But who knows, maybe I will try and recreate that. But these are the looks and this is the kind of brighter side that I tried to do. I was gonna do the pinks, but I feel like I always go for pinks and that. Um, so that's why I wanted to do the blues to try and do something a little different, something that I don't normally do. And then this is the darker side. Again, normally I put like the dark purple, I would have just placed it here and done something different in the crease. But I really wanted to just try new things, see what happened. So this is the result. So now that I've plopped them on my face, what are my overall thoughts for this palette? Um, I love it. That's all I've got to say. When I first saw it, uh, I liked the colours, then I saw the rest of the packaging, started to like it a bit more, bought it and it arrived, loved it, and um, yeah, it's. I'm going to be sad when I hit pan on any of these because the, the formula is just amazing, the shimmer shades are just absolutely stunning and the mattes are so soft and creamy and they blend really well like I said the only thing is you do need a sticky base but like this NYX primer I don't remember how much it was I don't think it was too expensive this particular primer on boots it is quite small but to be fair it's five pound on boots you can probably get maybe even cheaper than that I don't know but I would definitely recommend a sticky base for these. I think that's something because since buying it, um, I did watch a couple of uh, more people review it. Um, a couple of more people? I think that's correct in English. I don't know. I did see a couple of other people review it and they said the same thing about a sticky base is a little bit better for Beauty Bay eyeshadows. They just seem to like it better and to be fair, I've, I never used to use eyeshadow primer, I thought it was a waste of money, it was stupid, didn't need it. But since buying that NYX one, to be fair, I've noticed a huge difference with how all my eyeshadows apply and it is for the better. So that is the only thing I would say about this palette is you do need a sticky base, preferably to apply it. You can probably get like similar very good results um, without, but it just might take that bit extra work. So. But other than that, this palette is amazing. I do really love it. If you can get it in the next lot, I would highly recommend getting it. I love it. It was nice to sit down, have a chat with you guys, you know, just ramble about stuff, look at some makeup and try some new things out. So, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell to be notified of when I post a new video. Leave some comments down below. Have you bought Nikki's palette? What do you think of it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Is there anything else you think it could need? I personally don't think this palette needs anything, but please let me know if you think it needs something else. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.